This is just a wedge from 131 back into a little breeze. Keeps it below the hole, Peter. Got to look at birdie. He's back to playing golf and not golf swing. This is on the same level as the cup, so should move a little bit left. He sure does. He played it way outside perfectly for an opening birdie. Patrick Reed with a two-shot lead. Five. And Patrick Reed. Just a gap wedge from 132. Also trying to bring it in from the right, Ian. Two wonderful golf shots there, just using the breeze nicely. Let's go back to five. Patrick Reed had a good chance to study that line. See if it helps him or hurts him. Helped him. Inside the cup. They'll see if they can take advantage of this par five where they failed to on the previous. Well, first part accomplished. Yeah, both players made six at the last par five. That's perfect there. We'll be able to get it up around the front of the green. Reed set to go here at the par five. 311 yards. Old school, you used to lay back to a yardage you like with your wedge. New school, you blast it up there by the green as close as you can get it. And avoid the bunker, the way he's been playing the bunker shots today. That'll be perfect. Little upslope, I think, Peter. Nicely done. This one for birdie for Patrick Reed. Yeah, good firm putt there. So two fours at the eighth for our final pairing. Patrick Reed set to play, 153. Pitching wedge. Just trying to knock it down. And this is what Nick was talking about before, Peter. Yeah. If just feed it off that little ridge, that was well done. That's what Rom should have done with the fade. He was trying to, I'm sure, Nick. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Reed to get to 15 under. Oh, yeah. And a fist pump for Reed, Captain America. He knows it. T at 15, leader by one. This group still a hole behind the group ahead of them, still on the clock. Is he, is he turning this towards mm. that? It's just going to make a huge difference for the perfect draw. Back to 15. Nine feet, nine inches, Jim. Okay. Not much in it. And it's in. Just the center of the cup, wow. that's all. That's a solid, solid four. <laughs> Agreed. We're talking driver here. And we're going to be talking helicopter follow through because he came in well left. Kind of a semi after he, well, that is a curve right there. That's, that's bubble-like. Beautiful. Good shot right in front. And you hit it up in the air and spin it that much. The ball's not going to go that far, so. This is just a little scoot, bump and run. I like the weight on it. I like the weight on it. Very good. He's got that about, what, four feet away, it looks like, for his birdie, trying to extend his lead to get to 16 under par. He's at 13 and hoping. Yeah, this is all about grit and fight. There it is. Yeah, it's a good up and down. Good up and down. Good I think it's right a great tee shot, Gary. Yeah, right in front of the green, right where he yeah. wanted a little, uh, little cut. Time for sixth. Reed, critical shot. Yeah, one more helicopter, a mini one. Oh, that's a beautiful tee shot. Look at that low runner. And he's off. These guys have certainly found their game the last four or five yeah. holes. A low, solid crunch. Well, this is turning over. Yeah, it's going to get up. That's fine. You see, he's got up flag high. Awkward putt, mind you, but he really... Hole high. Not going to take a lot of time with it. Oh. Patrick Reed. No fiddling around with that one, Nick. Very impressive performance, Patrick Reed. He found it, considering he was really struggling back at uh, early in the season.